Hey church, we're in a season of believing for miracles and breakthrough in 2022. And our devotionals this season are a chance for us to share our testimonies of stepping out in faith and trusting in God. My name's John Bracegirdle. I love God's house where I head up uh, audacious business. I serve in the car park. I'm also an entrepreneur. I've got several business interests and here is one of my stories. So, I had a choice to make. Do I step out in faith and follow the leading guide of the Holy Spirit or do I not? God was um, calling me to quit work and go to Bible college. I was married to Hannah and we had a one-year-old daughter, Sophie. Um, I was technical manager, a leading uh, house builder. They liked me, I was doing well. And uh, you know, I was, I was in line for promotion and my next promotion would have been uh, to a technical director and it, you know, it was on the cards. A few more months and you know, working hard and I'd be there, life was busy. I was always in the office first and uh, you know, Hannah stayed at home and she looked after Sophie. Um, it was a good job, I earned good money and uh, we just bought a new three bedroom detached house, had a mortgage, uh, car loans and uh, bills to play. You know, going to Bible college, he couldn't be on the cards, surely. How would I afford to live? How could I pay the mortgage? Um, what about Hannah and Sophie? It's not just me, Lord. I, I've got a, a family to consider. However, I knew that I knew that I knew God was calling me. Hannah was already had already applied, she'd been accepted, and God was calling me to go with her. A number of years earlier, so just let me take you back to 1997. I'd just finished my degree in civil engineering. I'd started my working life. And this was before meeting Hannah and getting married. Um, my mum had asked me to come back to church. I'd not been in church for 10 years. And I stepped back into um, the local Pentecostal church in Horwich. And I just knew I was home. Um, immediately like the Holy Spirit just touched my life and I just wanted to pursue God. I was hungry for God's word. I was hungry for some discipleship in my life and I felt like I just wanted to go to Bible college. So I applied, um, I got accepted, but you know, I just finished university. I've just got my first job. I've just bought a new car. Um, I was in debt from university. I was in debt from just my lifestyle. I wasn't good with money. I spent more than I earned and I had several loans. I'd got credit cards. But, you know, I told people in the church and people would pray for me about going to Bible college. We, me and a few people, we stood and believed for a financial miracle in my life so I could go. But it didn't happen. And, uh, you know, I remember the day that the... Um, I was supposed to start Bible college and I just, I just couldn't go. Yeah, I was disappointed. So I just carried on. I immersed myself in God's word, in his house and in my career. I, uh, you know, started doing well at work and I changed job a few times after being headhunted and I got promotion. And uh, one of those was uh, to, uh, to a, a leading house builder called Barrett Holmes. And, uh, I remember walking into the office, uh, my first day, it was now uh, May 2000, and uh, sitting on reception was this beautiful woman um, who later became my wife, my best friend, and uh, you know, um, just God was, God had introduced me to Hannah. And uh, you know, that reason alone by not going to Bible college, just being Hannah was a miracle in itself. So, you know, and it was more than I could ask and imagine and well worth the disappointment. But, you know, God's a good God and he, he gives you over and above more than what you ask, think or imagine. And, and there was actually more, there was more to come. There was more to this story. So, so we got married and, um, yeah, a few months after Hannah got pregnant and we had uh, we had Sophie in November 2003. You know, Hannah stayed at home for that first year, um, but then 
she started thinking that wondering what to do and she said she's well she, she thought she, she might go back to work um, at that time the church that we're involved in had got connected to the abundant life church over in bradford and um, they'd started running uh, one year bible academy courses um, take a year out and uh, you know, it's just pursue God and all that he's got. It's very similar to what Audacious College do now. So I said, well, why don't you do this? This looks amazing. So uh, she applied, she got accepted and she was, she was all set to start. And uh, that was going to be starting in September 2005. Now, I started looking at the situation and I was like, wow, you know, Han's going to go to Bible Academy for a year. What an amazing time that would be just to seek God and uh, seek everything that he's got got for and then feelings from 1996 when I applied to Bible College returned and uh, you know I wanted to go with her but it felt more than that it felt like God was calling me to go with her and uh, but looking externally I just didn't need a finan financial miracle this time I needed a heap of miracles there was there was it wasn't just me to consider, I had Hannah to consider, I had a one-year-old daughter to consider, I had a mortgage to consider and bills and responsibilities and I was doing well in my career. How can I put, put all that to one side and just, just step out in faith and follow God? But again, I knew that I knew that I knew that um, I needed to go. So. We started looking at the finances and we we hatched a plan. Me and Han, we hatched a plan and uh, we, we had a bit of equity in our house. So the plan was to remortgage, take take enough money out just so we could, uh, if we budgeted it wisely and spent really wise that year, we could live on that money that uh, we'd taken out the house. I could quit work. And then in 12 months time, once the course was finished, I'd. I'd leave God for another job and, you know, and then we'd, we'd start again, but, you know, we, we were just taking a year out for, for God. And, uh, so that was the plan. So I went to see my employer and this was probably now th three months before, before the start of Bible college. I, I applied for Bible college. Um, I got accepted, got excited. And, but now I needed to tell work. So I had a month on my contract, but I didn't want to just kind of drop them in it. You know, I, I went to see him in, in June, a good two or three months before um, I started. And uh, I said, I'm, I'm quitting. And uh, I just remember seeing my director's face as I told him, he, he couldn't believe it. He just, he, he nearly fell off his chair and uh, he just kind of rolled off what, what I was giving up, what, he couldn't, he couldn't believe that I was going to quit my career to go and, uh, you know, just go to Bible college and follow, follow God. Um, he offered me money, they offered me promotion, um, but just to try and change my mind, but, you know, I was resolute, God had called me and there was nothing that was going to change that decision and, and he knew it. So there was, a, <clears throat> there was an area of work that I, that was my responsibility and it involved Road and sewer adoptions. Now, I haven't got enough time to go into that at the minute, but, you know, you could ask me about that any time. But, um, but it was a really low-priority part of my work, but quite important. But um, we kind of, as a team, we just never got round to it. There was no pressure on completing it. It was just you, you, you'd do it as and when you had some free time. I'd actually been searching for a couple of months now for a company that would do the road and sewer adoptions for me. And I, I, I couldn't find one. So um, I sat down with the director and I said, well, you know, I'll keep my hand in. Um, Bible college is only nine to one every day. So I've got, I've got time to, um, I've got time in the afternoons to do, to do some extra work. And I wouldn't mind earning a, li a little bit of money just to try and to try and see us through this year. So we, we agreed a deal where I'd do these road and sewer adoptions on a performance basis. Now, um, that was amazing, you know, and um, 
we 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 started. So um, remember, my plan there was to quit work, remortgage the house, and then after twelve months, go back to work. But we serve an amazing God um, who was able to do do immeasurably more than I can ask, think, or imagine. So here it is. I uh, I stepped out in faith, quit work, and this is what happened. You know, number one, me and Han were able to do the year together at Bible College. It was an amazing year. Um, I grew so much in, in, in knowing God and in my faith, and, and so did Hannah. We had an amazing year together. Number two, we uh, there was no remortgage. I didn't have to remortgage. From the very first moment I picked up the performance-related work, stuff just started clicking and finding place and to be honest I earned more money working part time than I'd ever earned before in my life. I uh, I didn't have to remortgage, we, we were comfortable, we had we had ex excess money and uh, God was just blessing me even though I worked part time. I didn't even work part time because some of them even afternoons I'd had to serve in church and I'd I'd work a couple of hours a day and it was just God just, just showing his favour on the decision I'd made to step out in faith. Number three, by the end of that year, um, I had a business partner. We had staff, um, and we'd opened up the first road and sewer adoption company in the UK. This company has now thrived over the 17, 18 years that it's been established, and we, we have seven offices now with over 50 staff. Um, and the, the business is just goes from strength to strength every year. And again, that's just got glory to, to God. Um, and before, instead of doing one year at Bible College like it was my plan, I actually did. I did two years, still working part time. Hannah was una unable to do that second year because um, soon after we graduated the first year, we, she um, we, we had Nora, our second child, and she stayed, stayed home to look after Nora. But I was able to do a second year at Bible College and just again, just learn and grow so much. Um, you know, number five, um, you know, my plan was to go back to work, but um, after 12 months, but I didn't go back to work as such working for an employee. I became the businessman. Uh, God had called me to become an entrepreneur, an employer, and uh, what a privilege it is to uh, be able to build God's house and build business at the same time. So that's my story. It's been an amazing roller coaster of a journey. You know, I just want to encourage you if God's calling you to step out in faith and follow Him, do it because He will never let you down. You know, I didn't intend to become an, become an entrepreneur. I thought I wanted to go to Bible college. You know, back in 96, I wanted to be a pastor, but God had his plan for my life. I had my plan, but he had his plan. And the, the very thing that held me back in 1997 was the, was, the, was the finance. You know, it taken me a while to get into debt. And, um, you know, God wanted me to learn the skills of using money wise. And it took me a while, quite a while to get out of debt. And... Um, because he had a plan and purpose for, for my life. It was his plan that he wanted on my life and he just wanted me to step out and follow him. So I just want to encourage you today. God knows what you need and when you need it and he will never, ever let you down. So I just want to, I just want to finish with the, I, you probably can guess, but you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll finish on the two scriptures that literally I love to found my life on. And that's Matthew 6. 33 but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well and Ephesians 3 20 now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us thanks for listening church I hope you're encouraged because if you can do it in my life you can do it in yours be blessed